Uh, Dinesh D'Souza is a well-known loser, okay? Uh, and I say that uh, full well understanding that that is literal. Uh, he is a convicted felon. Uh, he's never really wanted anything in his life. Uh, he's trotted out as a person who uh, comes from some ethnic background, but who agrees with Republicans. There's like seven of them in the country, so they get paid a lot of money to do this, right? So there's all the black guys who work on Fox News, there's Bobby Jindal and Ben Carson and Dinesh D'Souza, and they come out and they're like, oh, yes, sir, sir, you're so right, sir. <laughs> no, no, all the darkies are wrong, sir. Yes, sir, yes, sir, they're all lazy, sir, right? So that, that's what Dinesh D'Souza does, but it's funny because all the times he was complaining about voter fraud, la, 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 and then it turns out, of course, he got convicted for uh, giving money illegally to her campaign. Hmm. He, and I love this part, it never gets old, he gave money uh, as his wife, he got his wife to give money, uh, but it was actually his money, and also his mistress. And of course, he's from the Family Values Party. Okay, so now what's he up to these days? Well, he uh, <laughs> got Hillary Clinton. He sent out a tweet uh, where he made a trenchant observation. Now, let's take a look at that tweet. Um, it's Hillary Clinton speaking at a library back when she was in college, and he says, look closely at this Hillary photo. Isn't that a Confederate flag behind her? on the bookshelf. Mm. You know what? Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Yeah, way to go, Dinesh. Finally, victory is yours. Okay, now wait a minute, first of all, now, do you know that that's her library? No, you, you don't know that, right? I mean, uh, there's a lot of different things that could be going on. Maybe she was giving an interview with somebody else's library. Now, do you know that at the time she says, oh yeah, liberal, <laughs> look at this. Now, you know, she used to be a Republican when she was younger. She worked for Barry Goldwater. Oh, right, there's one other thing. Perhaps that flag was never there in the first place. Really? Okay. Now, uh, here is a picture that Dinesh D'Souza showed. Let's take a quick look. And again, it's got the Confederate flag in the back. Now, here is the real picture that people found online. Oops, there's no Confederate flag. It was photoshopped in. Oh, that's disastrous. Oh, you did it again, Dinesh. Took that big, stupid photo of yours and shoved it right down your mouth. Oh, oh, oh no. Um, for a while, he denied it, and then he had to come out later in the day and say, uh, correction, um, uh, disregard the photoshopped Confederate flag uh, in the background uh, of the Hillary photo, and simply, uh, simply focus on the glasses and hairdo. I had the glasses and hair down. I mean, 1970s. Wait, wait, wait. Keith Oberman made a good point here on Twitter as well. He's like, we're talking about glasses and hairdo? Can I see a picture of Dinesh for a second? <coughs> so let's review. Look at the glasses and hairdo, he said. Okay. Uh, Dinesh, uh, congratulations. You are now the biggest loser. Here's your uh, fail of the day, folks. Uh, Dinesh D'Souza on uh, claiming that there is a Confederate flag behind Hillary Clinton as she does an interview in college. Uh, she grew up in Illinois. She went to Yale uh, later uh, in her career. And she, at that point, she hadn't moved to Arkansas. And you never thought, hey, maybe there's not a Confederate flag behind her. Maybe I should check in on this. By the way, we don't know who photoshopped it. We're being super nice and assuming somebody else photoshopped it. And Dinesh D'Souza was his usual incredibly stupid self and assumed that it was there and didn't double check. So, of course, the other possibility, which is he was the one who photoshopped it. Who knows?